In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace C.R. a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Saturday, the 27th of May, 2023, seventh week of Easter and the last day of Easter. Participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Edith Olaraonye from Gaborone, Botswana, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Karo Maninga Musioka from Nairobi, Kenya, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Dumisani Koswe, celebrating his birthday today. A Palatine missionary working in Lilongwe Archdiocese in Malawi. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. He lived in Rome, preaching the kingdom of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 28, reading from verse 16 to 20 and verse 30 to 31. When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to stay by himself with the soldier that guarded him. After three days, he called together the local leaders of the Jews, and when they had gathered, he said to them, Brethren, though I had done nothing against the people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to set me at liberty, because there was no reason for the death penalty. In my case, but when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. And he lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him preaching the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ quite openly and unhindered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm chapter 11, verses 4, 5, and 7. Response is taken from verse 7b, and the response is, the upright shall be round your face, O Lord. The upright shall behold your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his only temple. The throne of the Lord is in heaven. His eyes beyond the world. His gaze probes the children of men. The upright shall behold your face, O Lord. The Lord inspects the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just and loves deeds of justice. The upright shall be on his face. The upright shall behold your face, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation John chapter 16 verse 7 and 13. 
Send the spirit of truth to you, says the Lord. He will guide you into all the truth. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 21, verse 20 to 25. At that time, Peter turned and saw following them the disciple whom Jesus loved who had lain close to his breast at the supper, and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying spread abroad among the brethren that this disciple was not to die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did. Were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have arrived on this day that has made us exhaust the whole gospel of St. John, that has made us exhaust somehow up to this day the whole acts of the apostles. But have we exhausted everything we can say about Jesus? No. Everything that we can say about God? No. Look at this. St. Paul was in Rome. And I was saying it would be nice when you get a chance to go to Rome to go to the Basilica of St. Paul, San Paolo. It is a beautiful basilica, and in that basilica they will show you the chains where Paul was, that that's around that area where Paul was in chains, and where Paul had his departure from this earth. But this man was a man of purpose, who made use of every opportunity available to make Christ known. He was in prison, and in that prison, he started preaching the word. And in that, I don't know about us, somehow we change the word of God when we find ourselves in difficult situations. We fail to talk about Christ when we find ourselves in places where we feel it is not a right place to make Christ known. We fail to make the world understand our convictions because maybe we are not convinced of anything anywhere. Paul was convinced. This man knew exactly what he was looking for. I don't know if you know what you're looking for in your life. After so many days, I'm talking of 49 days since we celebrated Easter. Come tomorrow, it will be 50 days since we celebrated Easter. And we have learned a lot. Have you developed some convictions in your life about which you can speak? And in that, 
Those convictions you can share with people when you are in the office. Those convictions you can share with people when you are in a bar where maybe you don't expect anything Christian spoken about, but you are able to tell people, this is what I believe in, these are my convictions, and this is my faith, and let people know you are serving a risen Lord in your life. Don't just talk about other people. Don't just focus on events. Focus on the life of Christ. Jesus is by the Sea of Galilee, and he finishes instructing Peter, do you love me? Feed my lambs. Do you love me? Tend my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. After that commissioning, Peter seemed to have lost concentration and he started focusing on the beloved disciple. You know, sometimes we fail to understand that we have to focus on what God has given us. It's enough. Don't look at other people. You are talented in your own way. And you just want to see what others are doing or whether others are blessed like you. You may end up being discouraged. Jesus wants to say, just follow me. You just do what you are able to do. Don't look on the sides. Look at me. I've given you an example. Look at me. You will have the confidence you need in your life to do things right. Look at me. What about him? Forget about him. Look at me. You just follow me. Oh, wow. You know what the Lord is saying? He's saying we are fond of comparing. We are people who fail to live our own lives because we are living other people's lives. We are failing to be us. We are anything else apart from being what we are supposed to be. Because we are looking on the sides and so we live very superficial lives. The Lord is saying, you follow me. Look at me as your example, as your model. Don't focus on what is happening to others. And with this, we conclude the Gospel of John with these words that we cannot exhaust everything about Christ. So the Bible has not exhausted everything about Christ. That leaves a mystery. That is why Jesus was able to say, I have too many things to tell you. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he will tell you even about things that are to come. And this is the Holy Spirit we are celebrating tomorrow. And I'm celebrating this Holy Spirit with the people here in Rundu, Namibia, with whom I have been from the beginning of our nine-day preparation for Pentecost that we are concluding today. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Saturday to you. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.